So last time we discussed the select node and when it would be appropriate to use that. Basically, whenever you want to keep your code in a line and you don't want it branching off, you would use a select node. So for instance, in my personal project I've got open here, when my character swaps combat types, I'm switching combat types based on what they were. I'm just using the select node to just cycle them through. Now, when you would use a switch node is when you want your code line to branch out. So this is where I'm checking to see if I have a weapon equipped and I'm spawning different gear based on which combat type it is because I don't want these always executed on the same line. I just use a switch so that I can branch out and do what I need to. So basically a select node will help your lines or your code stay in line and a switch node helps it branch out to accomplish different tasks. And the switch node is very useful. It can be used for enumerators like this, or you can use it for integers. So if it comes back, let's say your character's level one or two and you want different things to happen, you can switch on that. It can switch on a string. So if you're given a, like if you have a passcode for a door, you can have it to where if it matches the passcode given, then it does something. And if it doesn't, then it does another thing. You can also use a branch for that, but switch helps if you've got multiple different options. Or switch on name so you have a named variable and you want different things to be done. There you go. But it's another really handy node to throw in your toolbox and dive into it. See if there's other things you can figure out to do with it. So, Alright, that's it. I'll see you later. Bye.